Eric Mwade with Mwade.com for May 29th, 2018. It is early morning US time. And I want to give a quick update on my analysis on the cryptos. And I'm going to use Bitcoin only to save time. And we can see that right now they are bouncing. Actually, they are at session highs at the moment. So I want to show you what I'm looking at. And I guess the reason for this video is a little bit of caution in terms of timing. And I'll explain myself. So number one, we can see here for BTC, this is the four hourly chart. There is a possibility hour to hour that what the market is doing, and I'll explain this when I take a look at the daily, is I think, give me a second here. What we are doing is coming back to test this break. which brought us lower. And I think this has to be cleared first and foremost in short term basis. This is a four hourly chart for Bitcoin. So even as they trade at the highs of the day, this is where you can logically start expecting some type of a resistance and then they start drifting low. Now, the reasons why I think in terms of timeliness, we are not ready. Now, on the hourly, on the four hourly chart here, it looks okay. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at the main MACD, the four hourly has actually cleared this short term resistance level. And we are seeing a crossover. So in terms of timeliness, the four hourly is looking okay. It's not the worst, but neither is it very convincing and actually the reason why is i would have to show you the daily and i would have to admit as far as the daily is concerned what btc has done overnight or let's say over the last day or so is a nice bounce here back above the level of rsi 30.9 so a good bounce with uniform activity on the 30.9 level back above it. That's good, actually. Also, what is good about the daily for BTC is we still see that it is moving above this layer here. And I use this line here on a short-term basis because this is where we come off the lows on a daily closing basis and we build for a reasonable swing trade to the upside. So we can use that level. And so we are pretty much doing our best to, you know, and I can say, yes, you can say this is uniform activity below the line and back above it. So that could be actually the making of an instrument that wants to bounce. But I'll show you why I think it is a little bit early. And the reason is based on the main MACD. This is now the reason for this video is the main MACD is not close to crossing over. Hope you can see that. This is the reason for this video is that on the main MACD, we don't see any sign of crossover momentum. Now, if you take a look at the previous time where we have a little bit of a swing trade, as a good visual immediate learning example here, there was a swing trade. But you can see that we had to clear this level here, which was a previous crossover attempt. We had to cross over before we start coiling higher. Now that is a requirement. And that is pretty much how to use the MACD to tell you when the momentum is changing directions. So right now, even though other things are pointing to possibility of a move higher, this daily default or the main MACD is not close to breaking out. What you'd want to see, you'd want to see an attempt to move higher, a failure. And then finally, you'd want to see it clear the failed attempt to cross over. In that particular point in time, you'd want the crossover to take place. So until we see the crossover, 
we, until we see it move above an attempt to cross over, this is not timely. In other words, chances of this move for the day, right now BTC is up about 4% here, chances of this fading or losing this gain over the next couple of days is consistent with what the MACD is telling us. So in other words, what I'm trying to say here is I think the cryptocurrencies are not ready yet. I think eventually they might have a swing trade to the upside, but not quite yet. And the reason, which is the reason for this video, is we don't see a good action on the MACD. So we have to continue monitoring this until we get a signal. Now, let me take a look at the weekly. And the weekly, and I discussed this, the weekly is starting to show signs. And this is where there's, we're going to have to wait for that daily chart to confirm. But the weekly is beginning to give us the look of an instrument on the RSI that could bounce based on this previous entry here. We talked about this so we can take a look at the weekend analysis video where we discuss uh, the cryptos in detail but the weekly chart is starting to look like it could bounce if it can continue holding this line here that would set the stage for a reasonable strong bounce in fact could even be putting some short-term highs here short-term lows before a bounce if this can hold if we take a look at the main MACD, the problem here is even as of right now with the bounce, the MACDs are still pointing at all time lows. So the downside risk still remains because of this MACD still trading at all time lows. So in other words, if I was to summarize this video is, yes, some of the things are starting to look like there could be a bounce in store here, but we're gonna have to wait until we get a meaningful crossover on the daily. And I'll pretty much be monitoring this the next couple of days until we get a sizable. What we're gonna need to see is a crossover attempt that fails, movement lower, and then a successful crossover after oops, a successful crossover and a movement above any future failed crossover attempt. So this is going to take some days at the very least. So hope you get what I'm trying to say here is yes, some things are starting to show that there could be a bounce. The downside risk remains because of the MACD trading at new lows. In terms of timing, the daily for BTC is not confirming that the cryptos are about to sustain their current move. And in fact, let me end the video with the time frame I began the video with, which is the 4 hourly. And on the 4 hourly, we see that we are still coming to test the recent breakpoint. So this is what is being tested right now and we'll see whether the cryptos have enough energy to hold above this level. Keep in mind that this level is, a, is around the RSI 50 level which means that as we moved above RSI 50 we had a big up hour or 4 hourly candle. If we drop back below 50 expect a big down bar. In other words we might take back some of these gains if we show and confirm resistance on this uniformity line. And also, if we move below RSI 50, expect a big reactional four hourly period to the downside. So I see a lot of possibility of a bounce, but not quite there yet. We are going to have to wait for confirmation on the daily MACD. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S. Woo!